Jonathan Zimmerman, who's a history professor at NYU, wrote a piece in the Washington Post saying that we should get rid of term limits so that President Obama can run for a third term. If the people wanted him to serve another term, why shouldn't they be allowed to award him one? Barack Obama should be allowed to stand for re-election just as citizens should be allowed to vote for or against him. Anything less diminishes our leaders and ourselves. <laughs> Okay, I, I could not possibly disagree with something more. We need term limits because, you know, we left a country called England because they had a king, and th we didn't want a, to be constantly served under a king. And one of the things that actually works in our democracy is that these people have to go away eventually. Uh, oh, Lord. The fact that he, okay, I'll, go. I'll go before Take you it, ask. go. I'm sorry, I'm ruined. Go. Um, the fact that he personalized it is what makes it so easy to go after this. I mean, it, whenever it comes right. straight to, you know who should have, who should not have term limits? President Obama. Uh, did you say it? I mean, and, I, this, and this, this could easily be a, a conservative uh, a point about this. Would you have said that for the last president? Hell no. Because nobody wanted him to stay any longer either. So right. I didn't want him in for the first four years. So, so when, when, it, when, it, when you have such an easy, easily take down argument like that, you just show your bias and show you don't really believe in your point. You just believe in the guy that you'd like to stay to keep there. Now, because we have this democracy and this uh, this system where the people can elect who they want, maybe elect someone else that does the same type of stuff. Maybe someone who do something even better. We can find that, or maybe we can make someone run with that kind of uh, that kind of vigor behind them. Right now, some of his arguments are somewhat legit. He argues that uh, you know most of these second term presidents become lame ducks. They're checked you, you, out. You, they're checked out. They're just going for legacy stuff, and they don't want to deal with policy and they lose their influence in uh, in their party and all that kind of stuff. But isn't the overriding point here that we can't keep electing the same people? We've already had a Bush dynasty and a Clinton dynasty, and I'm pretty sure we may have another Clinton coming in. And you know what? Chelsea's going to run for senator one day, and I'm pretty sure Malia is going to be foreign secretary. <laughs> I mean, we're just we're doing it to ourselves I already. See, I want to see what Michelle's going to run for. Michelle's going to be head of the UN or something. I mean, that's what's happening. We're, we're already doing it to ourselves. Yeah. So should we be changing the Constitution no, and, to allow it even and, and more? I, and I love that he decided to make this point when uh, Obama has the lowest lowest approval rating of all time. Right. What is it, like 30%, 37%, something yeah. like that. But I, I appreciate someone saying you should have the option to run again so you don't just sit on your ass for you know the last year. But there is too much corruption in government to hand the keys over to these people and trust yeah. them and say, okay, you know, fair is fair. If they want to do it, go ahead and do it. There are too many people pulling strings and pulling levers behind the scenes to keep people that we don't want in charge. Yes. I don't trust the, I don't trust the government enough to say, hey, that sounds fair. I, everyone's on the honor system, right? Right, and especially because the media and government are so close now that, yeah, if you're in for eight years, you've already manipulated the media, we're finally now seeing for the first time the, the media turning against Obama with the with the photo stuff mm -hmm. coming from the White House and all that. So isn't it just two, even eight years is starting to seem too Excessive. long for me? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's, it, when it's, we, we all know about how at least how the the powerful, more powerful elected officials tend to lean on the media already. Mm -hmm. So that's why they do have to give them the type of things they want, or if they can't ask the serious questions, or the correct follow-up question that everyone is looking for them to ask. Like, okay, he just spewed a, a whole lot of nonsense. Um, ask him what we're all thinking. And they can't because yeah. they're going to lose their access. So as you're saying, now that his power is beginning to wean because he's wrapping it up, they're allowed to go after people more. And yeah. it's almost like our own little doomsday scenario. It's like, no matter what, no matter how much you love him, how much you hate him, he's out he, in a certain amount of time. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it, it doesn't matter. You have to get it done. You have until this time on, you know, midnight, whatever, to get your shit done, because either way, you know, you're out. Right, and, and by the way, I want to say for me, this has nothing to do with President Obama. Even if I agreed with everything he was doing right now, I would still believe he has to go. And if his ideas and everything was so great, well then let the, we'll vote for the next person who will mm -hmm. hopefully do the same stuff. The cult of personality is the danger part, right? Well, Isn't, yeah. yeah. Well, I was just going to say it's so short-sighted because if this guy is Obama's biggest supporter, number one believer fan, then it happens. He gets Obama for, say, another term, and then the clouds start to get dark, and then, you know, we all have someone that we hate. Now, well, now that guy's in charge. Now we have Castro. Yeah. So how did that work out for you? Yes. Uh, and as, as, as much as we hate talking about the horse race and everything, there really is a different, uh, there's a different feel for the presidential elections when it's two new people coming in. Mm -hmm. Whenever it's a re-election period, when a president's trying to get re-elected and there's another challenger coming in, it just doesn't have the same amount 
of strength and, and I guess hopefulness behind it. Because both sides are like, we have a chance to have someone new. Yep. Even the side that if it's right. the same if it's the same party, we're thinking, here's here's a chance for a new wave. Yeah. That's and there's so extra that's, excitement. So that's a little hope for 2016. Yeah. 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 So my last thought on this is obviously our system is not perfect by any stretch. But you know, a couple of weeks ago they, they got rid of the filibuster mm -hmm. in the Senate. And yes, the Republicans had used the filibuster like something like ten times more than all the other presidents combined against Obama and all that. But isn't there a danger when we just change these institutional things? Not that they're so great all the time, but that when we change these things, you know, this filibuster thing, for example, th if the Republicans win in 2014, they're going to absolutely use it against the Democrats. So isn't there just some danger in that? Well, I think it's just, it doesn't take a, a genius to figure out when you start incorporating Dr. Seuss into your filibuster, filibuster <laughs> rules have to change. Right. You know, it's like if you can't be trusted to play nice with your friends, then we're going to have to take dodgeball away. Right, but is there a danger in changing something that's existed for 250 Not years? Not if people don't use it the way it was right. intended. Yeah, there, there is as long as the people haven't changed as well. Whenever, whenever we bring up that we can't change what we've been doing because the, the, our status has been great so long, we've changed plenty of things because the, our, our country and our world has changed enough with it. So when, once, once they change, which obviously our Congress they, has changed, yeah. uh, we have to change with them. And it's hard because they're not threatened to, of course, abuse it because that's the nature of their entire yeah. uh, their agenda in the first place. <laughs>